Welcome to the topic, Understanding Depression in Later Life. This is Sean Brotherson, Family Life Specialist with NDSU Extension. I'm also joined on this topic by Jane Stroman, Extension Aging Specialist. Thank you for your interest in this topic and how it might be of relevance in your life and work. This is video number one in a series of short educational videos on the topic of understanding depression in later life. In this short video, we are exploring the topic of myths and realities regarding depression in later life. An accurate understanding of the topic of depression is important to being able to recognize it and manage it well. Some questions on this topic include, when does depression tend to occur in later life? What is needed for managing depression in later life? And what does seeking assistance for depression say about you? Let's sort out some of the myths and realities regarding depression in later life. And then we will conclude with a few key things to remember about depression in later life. I'd like to begin our discussion on the topic of depression in later life by exploring a few statements related to the topic of depression and whether they are true or false. Please think about each statement as it is asked and whether you perceive it to be true or false. The first statement is, Depression only develops when someone has had a major traumatic experience in life, such as the death of a spouse, a heart attack, or other major health concern. Do you consider this to be true or false? The answer to this statement is false. It is a myth that depression occurs only when people experience major trauma in life. Perhaps you might think about some of the factors that might contribute to the experience of depression in later life. The reality is that depression is a commonly occurring mental health condition that can arise in a person's life due to a variety of factors, including genetic influences that simply make you more likely to experience depression, body changes such as vision challenges or difficulties getting around, stresses in life, personal losses, or other factors and influences. Let's consider the next statement on the topic of depression in later life and whether it's a myth or a reality. Again, please think about the statement as it is made and whether you perceive it to be true or false. The statement is, individuals dealing with depression usually can overcome it if they just work to cheer themselves up or pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Do you consider this statement to be true or false? Again, the answer to this particular statement is false. It is a myth that depression can typically be overcome simply by telling yourself to feel better or pulling yourself up on your own. The reality is that depression is a complex medical and mental health condition that typically does improve with a variety of approaches, which may include therapeutic support, social support from friends and relatives, exercise, a healthy diet, rest, and medication as prescribed under the direction of a physician. Here is a final statement that we would like you to consider and whether you perceive it to be true or false. The statement is as follows. Seeking assistance from a doctor or a mental health professional for depression is a sign of an inability to handle your problems or a personal weakness. Do you consider this statement to be true or false? The answer to this statement is false. It is also a myth, though it is sometimes commonly perceived that individuals dealing with depression are emotionally weak or unstable, or that seeking help is a sign of weakness. The reality is that depression is a condition that anyone can experience. Seeking assistance from competent professionals often is necessary, and it signals wisdom, understanding, and strength on the part of the individual who is seeking assistance. Depression is an important condition to understand because it affects a significant number of people and it can have severe consequences. For example, it may disturb a person's thoughts and feelings, alter a person's behavior, and cause physical difficulty and emotional distress. 
However, depression can be treated effectively when diagnosed and managed with care. It's everyone's responsibility to understand depression and help individuals find effective solutions. A critical question is where can I get help? If you think you or someone you care about might be experiencing depression, you may want to visit your doctor first to determine if this is a problem for you. If so, your doctor may find a medication to help you or could refer you to counseling. In North Dakota, you can call 211 for confidential listening and support as well as information and referral. This concludes video number one in the series understanding depression in later life. Thank you for viewing this resource. We encourage you to seek out further understanding on key issues related to depression, anxiety, grief, suicide, and helping resources in later life by viewing the other short educational videos in this series. These and other educational resources can be accessed on the NDSU Extension YouTube channel or at the web link on your screen. This educational resource has been brought to you by NDSU Extension, extending knowledge, changing lives.